Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Jupiter. I'm Ray Ray. And I'm Dietre. And we have your news for Friday, November 18th, 2022. For the selfie of the day, we have Ms. Levitt and Ms. McKinney. Ms. Levitt teaches AP Psych and World History and is also the head coach of the JV Girls Soccer Team. Her best friend is also Coach Brooks. Ms. McKinney has been teaching for 26 years and facilitates World History and American Government. This is actually her first year at Jupiter High and she loves it so far. JROTC cadets, under the leadership of Cadet Corporal Pedro Mateo, awarded a Certificate of Appreciation to Gina Mano for all her hard work and dedication to the school and JROTC. Gina consistently assists JROTC and field packets here at Jupiter High School in order to be a, a, able to travel for events. Thank you, Gina. The Warrior Dance Team will be flying to New York City Saturday, November 19th, and will be spending Thanksgiving break there to attend an array of activities such as Broadway shows, the Rockettes, sightseeing, and most importantly, they will be dancing in the 95th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The following girls will be representing Jupiter High School and the Warrior Dance Team, so please congratulate them and wish them safe travels if you have them in class. Sydney Chase, Allie George, Mina Oakleshen, Nina Raymond, Julia Ray, Aaliyah Shempire, and Isabella Doxwell. Attention best buddies. We will be having an after-school board game social on Wednesday, November 30th in room 4108. Bring your favorite board games and come hang out with your buddy. Also, if you have not picked up your best buddy's t-shirt, this is a great time to get it. Can't wait to see you there. Cook and Bake Club members. Our next club meeting will take place on Wednesday, November 30th in room 2114. We will be collecting dues as well as your safe staff certificates. We hope to see you all there. Congratulations to Ms. Knudsen's students that have been selected for the Inclusion in Dress Code photogra Photographing Cultures and Identities Through Fashion from December 9th to May 14th, 2023 at the Norton Museum of Art. This juried exhibition of student work from public schools in Palm Beach had 136 entries for only 53 spots, and Cassidy, Elena, and Zachary snagged three of them. Great job. Ladies Weightlifting. They defeated Royal Palm Beach by a score of 65-19 in the pause, bench, and clean and jerk competition and 69-0 in the clean and jerk and snatch division. They also defeated William T. Dwyer by a score of 48-41 in the pause, bench, and clean and jerk competition and 57-37 in the clean and jerk and snatch division. Congratulations. Toys for Tots Drive, sponsored by the Students Helping Jupiter Club. Earn community service. Please put toys in a bag and include the following, full name, first period teacher, student number, numbers of hours spent organizing and collecting items. Drop off in room 4112 from November 28th to December 9th. The marching band will be competing in the state championships this weekend held in Fort Lauderdale. Come to their send-off show on Saturday at 7 p.m. We hope to have a bunch of support to go for them to go defend their state title. Inkwell's Creative Writing Club is hosting its second meeting in Ms. Stain's room after lunch, during lunch B today. This writer's workshop will provide feedback on the pieces you have already written, so bring your lunch and a friend and your writing to room 5215. When in doubt, keep in mind the words of Richard Bach, a professional writer is an amateur who didn't quit. Seniors, Katie Studios will be back on campus for one final time on Tuesday, November 19, 29th, to photograph seniors for the yearbook before November 30th, the deadline. To sign up for a slot, visit the Class of 2023 Google Classroom and click the Sign Up Genius link. You must schedule your session using this link and not the Katie Studio scheduling site. Please email Mrs. Munty if you have any questions. Do not miss out on a chance for your senior photo. Seniors interested in learning how to complete the George Snow Fund Scholarship application may sign up in guidance office to attend the meeting on December 2nd at 10 a.m. And your birthdays of the day. Happy birthday to Peyton Brown. Ashley Castillo Garcia, Yesnia Diaz Lux, Nestor Garcia, and Luke Thomas. Happy birthday. Stay tuned for the rest of the Teacher Spotlight and Happy Thanksgiving! So, Mr. Shaka, why did you choose to become a teacher? 
Um, there are three really good reasons that I decided to become a teacher. June, July, and August. That's a dad joke. Um, so no, uh, all kidding aside though, those really aren't bad reasons though. But the main reason I think was because I really did like history. And I, when I got out of college, I had, I had majored in history in college. And when I got out of college, I just kind of drifted for a little while, just uh, worked in management for a while. Um, I was working at Publix and I ran into an old friend that was teaching and she and I had a really long talk and she, I guess I would say, talked me into it. She felt that she had known me for a long time. We'd known each other all through middle school and high school. And she said that just, uh, she felt that my personality and um, just my, the way I, that my outlook on things that she thought it would, that I would be a really good teacher. So I think everybody has a set of skills that they're really, they feel comfortable with and they're really good at. And mine was clearly explaining science to people. I always could do that. So that's why I became a teacher. So I knew I wanted to become a teacher because I enjoyed working with kids, enjoyed working with the youth. I knew I wanted to coach, uh, but it wasn't until college that I truly got passionate about um, subjects, political science, history. And once you develop a passion with the material, you want to share that with uh, students to try to get them to um, understand topics uh, and make connections and find some type of meaningful application to their life. And so I knew that I could do that and I knew I wanted to do it. And so that's kind of what motivated me to become a teacher. I wanted to become a teacher ever since, I mean, I could remember. I remember having my own little blackboard at home and making my little brothers be my students. So I think at first I wanted to be a teacher so I could boss my brothers around. But after time passed, that feeling of wanting to be a teacher never went away. And I think it's really because I like to inspire people and I love the subject of Spanish. So I was kind of marrying the two together. And if I could teach people Spanish and inspire them to get excited about learning, it would be the perfect career for me. And lastly, I always like to also bring into my classroom some life lessons because I also feel very motivated to try and share some insights that I've learned in my later years of life with my students when I wish that somebody had shared them with me at that time. So my passion for wanting to become a teacher actually started here when I was in high school at JHS. I had Mr. Burke for psychology when I was a junior and being in his class made me realize how much I wanted to be a psychologist. At least that's what I thought. And then when I finally made it to college, I realized that it wasn't a psychologist that I wanted to be, but I wanted to be a teacher like Mr. Burke teaching psychology. But as it turns out, my true passion is really with English. And so I ended up switching, but my passion for, you know, for my desire for wanting to be a teacher really stemmed from being in Mr. Burke's class and so many other good teachers here at JHS as well. And here I am teaching English.